Welcome back to another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. I'm Satoli. Today we're in Lambertville, Michigan at the site of the first school bus safety mirror installation. Stay tuned and I'll tell you all about it. Back in the late 1940s, Reed Stout, then principal and part-time school bus driver for the Bedford Township Rural Agricultural Schools in southeastern Michigan designed and installed the very first safety mirrors on school buses for the district's fleet. The convex mirrors allow the driver to view blind spots around the bus. The idea for the mirror came about when Mr. Stout was driving the school bus one afternoon in the late 1940s. He stopped the bus to let a group of children off at their home. One little girl dropped her books in front of the bus and bent down to pick them up. Unable to see the child, Mr. Stout put the bus in gear to continue on his route, but not before the other children outside the bus yelled for him to stop. Mr. Stout exited the bus to see the little girl crouched in front of the bus picking up her school books. For months, this episode haunted Mr. Stout until he finally got an idea for a special bus mirror after spying a metallic outdoor gazing ball. Mr. Stout then fashioned a drug mixing bowl in a convex shape that allowed him to see in all directions. He then took the model to a mirror plating facility that produced about a dozen custom mirrors. These mirrors were then placed on all of the township school buses in 1950, giving the drivers the ability to see the blind spot directly in front of the bus. Eventually, the mirrors caught on throughout the region, and finally, the Michigan legislature made these safety mirrors mandatory on all Michigan school buses. After retiring in the late 1950s from the district, Stout devoted his full attention to the convex mirror where he started the Safety Cross Mirror Company, supplying the product to companies that built school bus bodies and other vehicles. He and his wife Lucille supplied their mirrors to bus and vehicle manufacturers until he retired in 1976. Mr. Stout passed away in 1986. Thanks for watching another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. Today we were in Lambertville, Michigan. Hope you enjoyed today's show. And remember, travel slowly and stop often. See you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.